Hi, this is Kara from Darling Vulgarity. I'm recording this video during Paris Fashion Week, which led me to think about French girl style. I am obviously not French, but I have loved fashion all of my life and there may be no style more emulated or sought after than that of the effortlessly cool French girl. From the time I was in high school watching Julie Depley in Before Sunrise and Juliette Binoche in The English Patient to college being totally obsessed with Audrey Tateau and Amelie to post-college when I discovered fashion icons like Francois Hardy and Jane Birkin. I've been low-key obsessed with French girl fashion. And over the years, there are a few lessons I have learned that seem to ring true regardless of the decade you're talking about any time from at least the 1960s to today. These rules are size inclusive. You can probably follow them using things that are already in your closet. Buy less, style more. So today I'm gonna go over these lessons from a lifetime of studying French girl fashion. Lesson number one, incorporate menswear. From Francois Hardy to Charlotte Gainsborough, incorporating menswear has always been part of the effortless French girl chic look. And when it comes to menswear, you don't need to hold back. Head to toe menswear in French girl fashion is 100% acceptable. And if you don't wanna do head to toe menswear, you can incorporate a feminine element like a lacy camisole underneath of your blazer. As somebody who has a lot of very feminine clothing in her wardrobe, sometimes it's so refreshing to me to just do head to toe menswear. And if I'm not in that mood, I love balancing out those really feminine pieces with an oversized blazer. So there's no one way to do menswear. Just play with it a little bit and see what you're comfortable in. Lesson number two, go monochromatic. From Jane Birkin to Julie Depley, you can find examples throughout the 20th century of French girls wearing monochromatic looks and it always looks super chic. You can really go monochromatic with any color. I prefer to stick to neutrals. I have a lot of black in my wardrobe. If I'm gonna do monochromatic, it's probably gonna be an all black outfit. All white, all beige, all brown can all look super chic. And if you're more brave than me, or if there's a color that you just look really great in and you have a lot of it, then go ahead and do monochromatic with a more vibrant color. No matter what you do, it's gonna look very put together as long as your shades match. Rule number three, wear a miniskirt. I love this one. Miniskirts have a universal sex appeal and French women just seem to nail it best. The older I get, the more I consider not wearing miniskirts, but then I put one on and I'm just like, I'm never giving this up. I love it. How short you wanna go with the miniskirt is totally based on your comfort level, but I would just make sure you've got something that hits above the knee. French style lesson number four, wear prints, but don't mix them. From the 1960s until today, you can see incredibly stylish French women, fashion icons, wearing prints. But what they don't do is mix and match them. One print is enough. And your print can be anything from a more classic print, sailor stripe, polka dot, plaid, to something more bold like leopard print. As long as you're not doing more than one print at a time, you're golden. This is a no. This is a yes. Okay, my last lesson in French girl style, pops of red. I read somewhere recently that French girls only wear neutrals and they don't like vibrant pops of color. What rubbish. You can find French style icons throughout the 20th century wearing pops of red. Maybe it's a red lip, maybe it's a red scarf. Granted, you do wanna pair your red with neutrals, but a pop of red can add so much playfulness to an outfit. So check your closet and see what you already have. Play around with these rules a little bit and when you start combining the rules, like mini skirt, one print at a time, menswear, then you know you've got it. Have fun out there, buy less, style more.